It's Wednesday here at the Parlay Studios. You know what that means? It's time to open the doors and enter the Ballers Club where we make you money in the NBA. But today, we also make wishes come true with, of course, wow. Jelani Goodridge, yes, sir, and yes. a special wow. guest who's been dying to join the Ballers Club to finally cement her legacy as a <laughs> baller. Noor Zainab, welcome to the Ballers yes, Club. Welcome. We'll give you a round of applause. Can I leave now? You're a baller. You wanted, I'm not allowed to leave you now. You wanted to be a part of the Ballers intro. Club. I need a better intro, but sorry. Continue. Now, that's pretty good. As you we, make me sound like a make a wish kid. <laughs> I deserve to be here just as much as the two of no, you. We, <laughs> we want you to be here. We're happy that you are here. We can't wait to see your picks. We're going to record her picks and make sure if she does well, we'll give her her props. And if she flames out, we will roast her as well. But <laughs> let's start off in the Big Apple, yes. the city that never sleeps. Madison Square Garden. The King of New York is back. He's back. Trey Young and the Atlanta Hawks take on the New York Knicks. The Knicks are two point favorites in NYC. Jelani, actually, let's start off with you, Noor. Wow. It's such a force of <laughs> nature of Jelani. Noor, let's start with you. Wow. What is your pick and what is the prop that you like for tonight's game? Hawks well, you know, ladies first, as it should be. Justin did learn some manners today. But in the in the city of New York tonight, I'm actually gonna go with the Hawks. Um okay, sorry, okay. New York. You know Trey Young owns you. Even if he's having troubles with the uh, with his franchise, whatever's happening in the locker room, I think they can put a good product together, especially offensively against this Knicks team. And as far as my player prop goes tonight, mm -hmm. I'm actually not gonna go with Trey Young. Okay. I know he's gonna be the popular choice because it is just the spot where he becomes the heel and he gets to do his thing. But I I I'm still like you know, reluctant because of what's happening behind closed doors. So I'm actually going to go with DeJounte Murray because uh, his over is set at 21 and a half tonight. And I think he will hit the over pretty easily because over the last five games, mm -hmm. he's at 23 points per game. And tonight against this Knicks defense, I think he'll be able to get that. Well. Last time he was at MSG, he dropped 36. That Jelani? True. Okay, well, that's a great pick because I also have DeJounte <laughs> Murray and the Atlanta Hawks tonight. Why? Because the Hawks, they do own them right now. Okay. Not just the playoffs, but the past two regular season games. They beat the Knicks in MSG. And then when you're looking at DeJounte, he's been playing well. He's an all-star type of guy right now. I expect him to put the ball in the bucket. Justin. So today, I'm going to be... I got my help with my picks today. Oh my God. We saw to the degenerate <laughs> gambling crew on uh, iMessage, the group chat. Uh, they gave me the picks for today. Uh, we're going to go with the Hawks plus two. Uh, mostly because of how they looked last game. They looked horrible last game. I expect them to play very well. And you know I'm going with Trey Young over nice. on points tonight because he's back home. Yeah, man. He owns, he owns MSG, Gotham, man. Over 27 and a half. <laughs> of all that drama going on with him and Nate McMillan, his shoulder injury, he did not play well. I expect Trey Young to have a big game at MSG and the Hawks to win. Now, let's go to another game featuring... Two of the best guards in the association, period. In Memphis, Tennessee, the Oklahoma City Thunder are facing off against the Memphis Grizzlies. The Grizz are seven and a half point favorites against mm. OKC. Noor, are what's your pick? Are you, are you rolling with the Thunder? Are you rolling with the Grizz? What are you gonna do? I'm gonna go with the Grizzlies. I think they have a full team full of energetic bunnies on steroids. That's what I call them constantly. <laughs> I think that's just what they are. Um, and they just have the offensive power to overtake um, OKC. They pretty much just have what Shea right now, even though he's having yeah. a spectacular season. I just don't think that's enough to put up points against this Grizzlies team. I think uh, we pretty much know they are gonna win. It's just a matter of how much they're gonna win by. And I think they're gonna win by over seven points. So I'm gonna give it to Grizzlies. And what's your prop? I'm gonna go with Shay. Uh, like I said, I know Grizzlies will win this one, but I think Shay is gonna be the guy on 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 OKC who's gonna have every single ball, every single possession, get those shots up. And over the past five games, he's had 32 points per game. So tonight, again, he's gonna be the main guy on that team. No reason why he shouldn't hit his over of 29 and a half. I'm actually going with the Thunder. I think they're going to cover what? this number. Uh, the Thunder aren't the best team in the West by any stretch, but they are playing some good basketball. They are. Right? They're actually surprising me and a lot of other people right now. They're in a play-in type of situation. So I think they're going to come up here and actually put up a fight 
against a Memphis Grizzlies team that, you know, even without John Morant, they have been playing some good basketball. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I think the Thunder actually cover. I don't think they're going to win, mm -hmm. but I think they cover. And in terms of the prop, you have to go with Shea in this one, okay? You just have to, the way he's been playing, okay? Look, me and Nor, we, we know ball, okay? We're agreeing on all these props so far. I like Shea, last seven games, <laughs> over 30 points, okay? He's been, he, I'm sorry, bro, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> the last, the last seven you know? games, I, I, I don't know about all that. I don't know about all that, okay? I don't see a J up in your name, but... <laughs> Yes, Shea, Gilgis, Alexander over uh, 29 and a half. You guys have got to me. I have actually Shea over 29 and a half points. Well, because you know all too. In eight of his last, he didn't play uh, two games ago, but yeah. in eight of his last 10 games, he's over 30 points. Yep. It's a lock, right? Yeah. Death tax to Shea getting over 30. Absolutely. It's for sure going to happen. And I'm with you. The Thunder are going to keep it close. Mostly because we don't know the status of John Morant. Is he going right. to play? Is he not going to play? Is he going to be hobbled? I think the Thunder are a very scrappy team. You know, they can put up points in bunches. I think they can compete with the Grizzlies and keep this close. I got the Thunder to cover the spread yes. and Shea to get over 29 and a half, which seems kind of low for some reason because the know. guys have been putting up mad buckets all season. Finally, something very near and dear to Noor Zainab's hearts. Her Boston Celtics face off against the Phoenix Suns. Of course, the Celtics came back and rolled the Raptors in Toronto yeah. the other night. Now they're in Phoenix to face off against a team that got embarrassed again by Luka Doncic. <laughs> Noor, are your Celtics going to embarrass the Suns or the Suns going to bounce back in a big way? Nah, they're embarrassing. They're embarrassing. And that's all, you know, pretty much just because um, it's not just because the Celtics are this defensive-minded team, but they are, like, we talked about it constantly. They're an mm -hmm. offensive powerhouse yes. now. And you have Devin Booker on the other side who, you know, he was the player of the month but so was Jason Tatum. And Jason Tatum is surrounded by guys who can help him on the defensive end, and then he can do his thing offensively. And Missoula coach and of the Ma month. So, you know? The Celtics. And uh, when it comes to player props too, I'm going to go with Jason Tatum. I know, like we said, it's, it's, the, it's the battle of the best between Jason Tatum and Devin Booker. They are your player of the month. They did, they, they've, they've been having a pretty fantastic season so far, and I think it's only going to get better. But I think... The Celtics defense can limit Devin Booker the way that the the Suns the Suns defense can't do the same thing with this Jason Tatum. So I'm gonna go with Tatum over. That was very predictable. You going for the Celtics, <laughs> Jelani? Yeah, I got Boston though. Okay, I think I think Bo Boston's man. the best team in the league uh -huh. right now. Okay, the way they're playing offensively, you look at the thing that I'm looking at tonight. Will the Suns be able to turn the ball over? Right, like like uh, steal the ball. Take, create turnovers. Yeah, create turnovers, I should say. Because assist to turnover ratio, very important. Celtics lead the league in that, okay? You're looking at how they shoot from the field, from deep. They are just a different team right the now. First so of points per game. Yeah, I got them. And in terms of the prop, I like uh, Jalen Brown. I almost said Ooh. Jason Tatum. <laughs> Jalen Brown. Right now, he's a part of the best duo in basketball. JT, JB, not Timberlake, not Bieber. Hey. But when you're talking about Jalen uh, Brown, he's been doing this, okay? He's hit the over three of the last four games. So give me that. I'm going to go with the Suns, oh simply God. because they got embarrassed against the Mavericks. Devin Booker had 11 points. Mm. And all the memes, again, of Luka owning them. Luka owns the Suns. Yeah, he does, though. That has to spark something in the Phoenix Suns. If they are who I think they can be, they have to show up well against the Boston Celtics, a, the best team in the it's NBA. It's going to be like a measuring stick type of game. I'm taking the Suns two and a half. The Suns to win in Phoenix, and I'm also expecting Devin Booker to have a big game. Take the over on Devin Booker points because... He's, it's a primetime game. Everybody's going to be watching. I know you guys might not be because you guys will go to bed super early. But I will that be watching. <laughs> uh, take the Suns. Take the over. I will be watching. This has been the Ballers Club. We want to thank you for thank to you, Noor Zainab for joining. Uh, we'll see how our picks are. She might be joining us again. If not... Uh, you know why? Because your picks flopped. Her but, picks better be good because we like agreed on the whole I was just going to say, I'm going to your record. You're talking too much smack for someone who thinks he's winning anything. So. Shout out to the Degenerate Gambling Pool and iMessage <laughs> for all the picks again. We'll be back on Friday, me and Jelani, for NFL Best Bets.